Yeah, go on. What's this story you're about, anyway? As you well know, Mark, Yeah. both me and you, mm. in our youth, yeah. Yeah, decided to take the Queen's shilling. Yeah. Yeah. And in 1987, mm. we were on exercise yeah. in Germany. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Yeah. And whilst we were in Germany, we were, look, we were like the bodyguards of a high-ranking officer. So wherever he went, we went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he went in a helicopter, we went in a helicopter. Yeah. If he went in a tank, we went in an APC. Yeah, they were the days. They were the days. Anyway, unfortunately for Mark, a.k.a. Candleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our team was split into two. Yeah, it was a sad day, sad day. And we went off one way and Candleman went off the other way. Mm. Anyway, in Germany there's lots of derelict chateaus and on this particular exercise oh yeah yeah we were billeted in this disused chateau wasn't up for sale who, who, what there. just on your own or no there was all the odds and bods mm. and there was four people in our team right and we were tasked of making a sanger which is a bunker for all those people that don't know oh with the sandbags and shit with yeah, the yeah. sandbags yeah near this window so what yeah go on so all the sandbags were delivered by the royal engineers on pallets for us and all we had to do was lug them from the pallets into the chateau where we were building this sanger mind you quite heavy isn't they yeah they weigh about 30 35 kg yeah, and up. for the average decent two-man sanger you've got to be talking around about 400 plus anyway to cut a long story short yeah we were building this sanger yeah yeah and being a little bit green and the engineers weren't able to assist us we started building this sanger yeah, yeah. onto the floorboards now, as you can appreciate, with all that weight... I was about to say, put all that weight on floorboards. All that weight, something's going to go wrong. Yeah. And it did. Yeah. The whole of the floor collapsed. So we were on the floorboards with the beams across. Yeah, yeah. Must have been woodworm or something mm. that just couldn't stand it. We all fell down about 35 foot to total darkness other than mm. the hole that we'd just created. Yeah. Yeah. Comes to, everybody's okay, puts the torches on. A lot of these war stories, yeah, yeah, go on. Puts the torches on, and it must be like a, um, a secret room within the chateau because there was lots and lots. Well, they have cellars, don't they? Ah, but this cellar was a little bit special. Mm. Not only was there racks and racks and racks of vintage wine and champagne and uh, uh, and um what do you call it like sherries and bits and pieces yeah. yeah there was like a big big metal box no lock on it just not a safe then no no safe a box just a metal box what like an ammo box or sort of but yeah, yeah. obviously not an ammunition box so you, you got we've already had a look at the wine and had a bit of a tipple. Yeah, as you do, yeah, yeah. don't blame you, yeah, yeah. Opens up the box. Well, life changer. Why? An absolute life changer. Why? Well, what was in the box was nothing more than. Yeah. What's this, an ammo box or uh, ammo pouch? Or something? No, that's an ammo pouch. Have a look. Oh, cough. Seeing is believing, mate. That ain't gold. Oh, yes. How many got? Five. We had five each. No. Mm-hmm. What, you don't spank one? <laughs> yeah, five, you wine, your milk paint, you Mm-mm. The best of it is, is I had them in my rucksack. 
yeah. for the rest of the whole of the exercise and then I had to post them from Germany because I didn't put them in my rucksack. So you're telling me I'm standing here smoking stupid roll-ups and you're sitting on, I don't know, how many ounces of gold? You wank <laughs> off. It's been in the safety deposit back box since 1987, and it was only the fact that the yeah, the bank a ton, mate. the bank closed, and I had to collect it. But it's here. It's been <laughs> under my bed for the last three years. No, you're a tosser. What else you got stashed away? How come you have all this luck, and I never found jack shit, mate? I'd have been happy with like uh, 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 SA80 in my rucksack and posting it, you know what I mean? I hate to, or a gym pet. I, I, I hate to inform you, but when we were youth, it was the SLR, darling. Well, yeah. No, we went on to the SA80, didn't we? Yeah, later. Yeah, later. So, have you noticed how I've not said <laughs> I have one? <laughs> you know what I mean? You want the milk, ain't you? It, 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 is it real or what? Yeah, fuck, I don't believe it, mate. You're telling me, after all these years, you've had that sitting, stashed away, right? And have you tested it? No. Well, you can get gold testers off eBay. Can you? Yeah. So you've not tested it? Well, eBay weren't around in 1987. And why does it look... Is it supposed to look that shiny? Because <laughs> it just don't look like it's had any wear or anything. Do you know what I mean? Well, if you had a lump of gold, wouldn't you look after it? Well, oh, oh, you weren't exactly going to throw it at your neighbour oh, for not, oh, put, not putting the, the music look, down. That looks like you've had Mr Sheen on it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that looks like you've been polishing it with Mr Sheen. Is it supposed to look that shiny? Oh, no, I've never had it. And you've not before. tested it. No. We're standing here smoking roll-ups, yep, yeah, roll when we're sitting on a mass fortune in here. And you've not, to, to, to make it worse, you've not even split it with me, have you, to be fair? Well... I didn't want to split it with anybody because I didn't know what it was. So why don't you go up Joe Dax on Mountain Road and sell it? I know he's going to ask where's it come from. It's not real, is it? No. You wanker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? And now we'll show you, Are you going? how it's really done. Yeah, toss it. Joe, what I nearly believe you. I swear to God. Upline and sink yeah, lock, if it were, you were dribbling I, at the teeth. I swear, <laughs> I swear to God, I nearly, nearly believed you. It's only because I, I, I'm gifted with high intelligence really? that I, I, I was a bit dubious about what you were saying there. But the story was really good, to be fair. Come on then, show me what, what, what have you... Go on then, show me, come on. Let's see what you've been up to. How did you make it then? I tell you what, make a good prank, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> you nearly had me. Nearly. Note the word nearly. Oh, my, no, that's something to do with the fire. So, what's that you're putting in there? It's a ladle. And into the I ladle. tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you really, really could wind your partner up with this, couldn't you? You could. All you gotta do is go on side, nick the lead off the plot. No, not 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 really. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Just get some lead. Well, I think I've got some lying around. To be fair, uh, a little bit. Nick some lead or or, or or buy some lead, whatever. And it is it's gonna melt it down. Let's see what is using to melt it down. But you could wind your missus up, couldn't you? Look what I found, guys. You know what I mean? So yeah, what you got? That that thing. That's a ladle. Yeah, and where, how did you make the blocks things? Oh, yeah, you got a bit of lead in there, yeah. A bit of lead. Is it that? Yeah. What's that thing down there? That. That looks like it's something you make um, Mr. Kipling's bake cakes in. Check it out, let's have a quick look. 
Oh wow, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Non stick. So what? Non stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, okay. Yeah, go on then. Oh god, I'm getting old. Shit. So yeah, you're gonna need some form of fire, ain't you? So this summer when you have a barbecue. I bet you can pick them things up off eBay, can't you? What are they called again? It's a ladle. Ladle. A smelting ladle. So you're ladle. melting your lead in there. Yep. Right, let's just get it. Right, so it's ready now, is it? I believe so. Vital. Oh. So a little bit. So Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is it, yeah. No bacon tonight, Mark. No, mate. I told you I ate it before I come out. <laughs> I tell you what, lads. You've got to do this and prank your missus, ain't you? Is that up? There's them jewellers advertising it and they bring all your, your scrap gold in. Oh, that's classic. It's just the right size as well, isn't it? It is. That's what they have little bullions of gold, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, beauty. Come on. Oh, it's a bloody good idea. I tell you what. <laughs> Tell you what, Skipper. What we'll do? Give me one. I'll give it teeth. I'll give it my daughter and say, say, look, give this to your mum to sign these papers. And there's more where this. No, comes no, from. She's, that's all gone now. But just say, look, look, say, Dad's come into some money. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I've got this sorted. I'm going to get Andy, Skip Rats, going to give me one of these. It's got, actually going to put some stamps in it so it looks real, right? <laughs> He's going to let me take that away, right? I'm going to get me, I'm, I'm going to get me daughter, sorry, and say, look, give this your mum, right? Dad says he's coming to a bare money, right? He's coming to a bare money, and, um, uh, it, feel, it feels a bit sorry for you, so, like, here's one gold bullion. <laughs> Tell you what, I can't wait for the reply of that. Yeah, go on then. Let's have a look. Yeah, bite it. Look, lads, look. Look, that's just lead. Can you do this with aluminium as well? Aluminium's too light, though, isn't it? You've got a bit of lead, ain't you, for the weight. Yeah, so what we'll do, we'll whack some stamps in that now, some numbers or something, on the back there, sprayed in gold. I'm gonna get my daughter to give me ex misses. She'll go up, look, she'll think like all oh, the Christmas has come at once. Boom, shaka. Right, right, what I'm gonna do now to make it look authentic. <laughs> right. Candleman's cons. <laughs> We're gonna put some um, stamps on it now. Now, if you wanna really make it look genuine, Gold bars want to have a bit of a, a few numbers stamped on the front, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, skip it. Let's get it in. Are you ready? Yeah? About there, yeah? Mm hmm. Oh, it's gone quite. Put a circle in it. Does that matter? No. That's all right, is it? Yeah. Okay. Do I, don't, do I need to hit it at all? I've done all of them now. Yeah. Yeah. Just That's not gone in quite as much, does it matter? It's gone a bit scoop, but it'd be all right, wouldn't it? Yep. <laughs> you got a laugh in you. There you go. There you go. Look, we've got we've got some numbers in it now. Yeah. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Right. What 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 we gotta do now? We we got we got spray it, haven't we? Yeah. Spray yeah. It. So where should I spray it? Right. There it is. What that's what. Bit of lead. See how easy that was to melt down. 
If you've got a barbecue going this summer, that's what you want to be doing. Get some stamps, you pick them up from B&Q for ten, five, ten quid. Whack some numbers in it like that. Jobs are good un. Yeah? Now we're going to spray it now. <laughs> so get yourself some spray from uh, Alfred's. <laughs> Just one quick question. Has this got a ball bearing in it? Or is it a glass marble? I bet you anymore it's a glass marble. You used to have ball bearings in it. It's still ball bearings, don't it? Seriously. Right, gold spray, yeah? <laughs> Tell me what. That'll do for a minute, won't it? Right, so what we're going to do, just going to let that dry. We'll show you the finished product in a minute when we turn it over. Here's the end result. There it is. You've seen it melted down, didn't you? And we've sprayed it gold, uh, half a dozen coats, um, and stamped the numbers in it. So <laughs> we're going to have a laugh with this. I'll, uh, I shall let you know in future videos um, what response I get off the ex misses when I give this to my daughter to, to give her mum. I'm going to, I'll tell you what, I'll have to stick a pamper on that. I'll be pissing myself that much, I swear to God. So, yeah, if you fancy pranking somebody um, this summer or whenever, make yourself one of these out of beer lead. Ideally, it's 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 good if you can get a little bit thicker. Look, looks like it's worth them all. But you need to be using the lead if you can because it's got the weight with it. I mean, the, there is a bit of weight there. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed content of this video with yours truly the candle man and of course skip rat who's sitting behind the camera um this is the sort of shit we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis isn't it yeah. so yeah but um yeah no it didn't have me fooled I, I i i i didn't fall for it lads you know what i mean too clever for that but yeah it's funny sort it out and then you can just tell your missus look what i found working on this old building at work, do you know what I mean? And I come across, get yourself a pouch, put it all in, bit of old leather or something, you know what I mean? Wrap it in a bit of old leather and go home and tell your missus. You know I mean? <coughs> then say, take it down, take it down local jewellers and see if, see what we can get for it. Do you know what I mean? She'd be down there thinking she's going to get a new pair of shoes, wouldn't she? You know what I mean? But yeah, there it is. Fake gold. Made in, well, you've seen, seen the video, so you know. So, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed content of this video. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, so, until next time, guys, stay safe. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll